In June 1777, British General John Burgoyne embarked from St. John on Lake Champlain. His mission was to take control of the Hudson-Champlain Corridor and cut off the rebellious New England colonies from the rest of the continent. But Burgoyne was concerned. Many of his units were composed of Indians unfamiliar with the concept of a civil war. Burgoyne wanted to speak with these Indians before engaging rebel forces, so he instructed Brigadier General Simon Fraser to set up a meeting at the mouth of the Boquette River on June 21st. Now, Burgoyne was both a playwright and a politician, and he spent several days preparing an elegant address. Warriors, go forth in might of your valor and your cause. Strike at the common enemies of Great Britain and America. This war to you, my friends, is new. Upon all former occasion, you held yourselves authorized to destroy, because everywhere you found the enemy. The case is now very different. Burgoyne ordered that they were not to fight unless engaged by the enemy, and that old men, women, children, and prisoners should be spared. But base lurking assassins, incendiaries, ravagers, and plunderers of the country, to whatever army they belong, shall be treated with less reserve. But the latitude must be given by order, and I must be the judge of the occasion. Now, many colonials were frightened by the Indians commanded by Luc de la Corne, a Frenchman held responsible for atrocities committed by Indians under his command during the French and Indian War. Could Burgoyne now trust de la Corne or expect that the Indians would follow orders? London elites ridiculed the belief that anyone could control the so-called savages. One parliamentarian delivered this biting parody of Burgoyne's address. My gentle lions, my humane bears, my sentimental wolves, my gentle-hearted hyenas, go forth! But I exhort you, as ye are Christians and members of a civilized society, to take care not to hurt man, woman, or child. It's said that British Prime Minister Lord North laughed so hard, he nearly suffocated. <laughs> 